officially made it to New York City after the longest travel day. I just checked into my hotel and they very kindly upgraded me to a king. I feel disgusting. I cannot wait to shower and wash my face and do my skincare. Okay, just finished my hair. I curled it with my T3 curling iron. I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray because it's really humid out apparently today and I need my hair to last me until dinner. For my outfit today, I'm gonna wear my white reformation dress. I feel like it's the only thing I have that I'm not gonna like totally overheat in. And it's so cute. I love the like little buttons that it has on it. So cute. I'm just gonna wear it with my Adidas Sambas during the day. And I think I'm gonna bring these black heels to change into for the Bobby Brown dinner. Okay, you guys, I'm all dressed and ready to go. I have my full outfit on and I actually am really happy with how this one turned out. Might be my favorite outfit of all of them. Made a whole mess trying to get ready. I'm not clean when I get ready but let me show you the outfit this is the full look i am obsessed with this dress i feel like i could honestly wear this like during my wedding week but it's so cute it's from reformation and then i'm doing my adidas sambas just during the day it's literally like 90 degrees outside and i was originally planning on wearing this with um tall black boots but it's just way too hot and then i have this little chanel bag and my watch is ferragamo red nails that's the vibe. I'm also super happy because I called Bridal Reflections. I had emailed them earlier in the week to um, set up an appointment to look at wedding dresses, but I hadn't heard back from them. And they had one last appointment available on Sunday and I snagged it. They had like a last minute cancellation. So I got super lucky, alhamdulillah. So I'm gonna go to Bridal Reflections on Sunday and try on wedding dresses. And I'm literally so excited. I have never been there before. I feel like it's time to give it a shot. I'm gonna be in New York next weekend as well for the Veiled trip and like the pop-up and stuff but i think i'll just be too busy to squeeze that in next week so i'm about to head out and me iman these are the sunnies i'm gonna wear by the way these are from Les specs i got them off of revolve and i think we're gonna get like a little coffee or something before we go to our first meeting appointment event whatever you want to call it at dorothy schumacher so let's go guys i just tried to find a coffee shop for like 30 minutes and I literally walk in the direction. So New York has been great for me so far. It's like five minutes left on my walk and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's so freaking hot. So I came to this place called Butler. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love your jewelry. Okay. Thank you. This is the only okay. thing that. Say hi to the vlog, okay. the official New York vlog. She's glowing. Me, Iman, aka my favorite person, aka Momager. <laughs> you really are my Momager. <laughs> we're just waiting for our car, and then we're going to Restoration. Restoration Hardware. The rooftop is stunning. Stunning. I'm a machine. We're gonna grab a quick bite some coffee and then we have our dinner at 6 30 and it's 4 13. Hey you guys, we just got permanent bracelets. Let me see yours. 
I can't even see her. I know. They're really little. Why was I being such a wuss? No. I was shaking. Literally such a baby. She was like, I'm scared. I don't like anything like that. Like, I get freaked out. Like, whenever I get a shot, I'm like crying. I can't. But you didn't hurt. It was a But it's like a mental thing, like me sitting there while it's like something zapped. I don't know. I'm a baby. She survived. She survived. I survived. And it didn't hurt. But the girl was like, see, it's not hurting. I was like, I know. I'm just scared. She's like, should we stop? I'm like, no, it's okay. I got it. The dinner was so good. We're both like stuffed. It's been so much fun. So Bobby Brown does a lot of the makeup for the shows during New York Fashion Week. Like Stodd, Love Shack Fancy. Many fashion shows, they, it's like their thing. They do makeup for yeah. the show. They're so like fashion and editorial based. It's been so much fun. And the, the dinner was so Yeah, so many tips for her wedding makeup. I know, everyone's asking like, what are you doing for your wedding makeup? I'm like, guys. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm like, my makeup I do does not last like 24 hours in that Istanbul heat, heat sweating and crying and doing all that. But in August, it's gonna but be it'll be fun. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be warm. It's gonna be toasty. Yes. But it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how many cookies. This is insane. Like never. Even that actress, whatever her name was. Jennifer. I tried to take the pin, <laughs> but she <laughs> dropped it oh, in the key lime pie. Okay, I literally just walked through front door to my hotel, and this is the worst part about leaving your place a mess. Having to come home and clean it and coming home to the same place. But day one done. That was honestly such a fun day. The Bobby Brown dinner was literally the best dinner I think I've ever been to, like a dinner event. It was so well curated and their team was so sweet. It was just the best time. Everyone was so sweet. For those of you who are new here, Iman is my manager and I have two managers, Iman and Chantel. And we're also like super close. So anytime I come to New York, we like spend so much time together. We do a bunch of work stuff together, but we also just like hang out. And it's always like the best time. We feel like every time that we're together, we're just like nonstop laughing. I literally cannot wait to take off my heels. <sighs> my feet, my poor feet walking around New York and no better feeling than like taking your heels off. They gave us a little goodie bag. I want to see what's in it really quick. Ooh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. Vitamin Enriched Press Powder. Highlighting powder. Stick. Eye base. Oh my god, I cannot wait to use that eye cream. Little mini brush. Vitamin Enriched Face Base Eye. Literally love this product. It is like the OG moisturizer primer. I thought we went to the Dorothy... Schumacher um, like gifting suite. It was such a stunning space. It was at the Greenwich Hotel. Literally beautiful. And I actually found some super cute stuff. I ended up getting this like gorgeous like sweater. Camera is not doing it justice, but the fit is literally perfect. Comes with this like matching um, top, which is honestly really convenient. It looks so chic together. And I got these trousers. They're a little bit more fitted than the other trousers I have. But I have the new um, navy trench coat from Frankie Shop, and I thought it would look so good with these pants. I'm gonna sign off for the night. I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my face, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, New York Fashion Week, day two. I was literally so exhausted this morning. Like, it took everything in me to get out of bed, and I don't have a ton of time. I have to be at an event at 11, and it's currently 10, 17, so I need to finish getting ready pretty quickly. Um, it's a breakfast event for Merit Beauty, so it's gonna be really fun, inshallah. I'm super excited. I'm meeting Iman there. We're gonna grab some breakfast after. I need to get a little bit of like work done and just like catch up on like emails and stuff on my phone for a little bit, and then we have a in-store appointment at Pollen, which will be really fun. And yeah, I think we're just gonna like see where the day takes us. I don't actually know the rest of the schedule as of now, but it's kind of where we're at. I've been loving how I've been doing my makeup lately. So I'm gonna do like an updated tutorial on Instagram and like TikTok and like actually include all the steps so you guys can see it and let me know if you wanna see that on like YouTube and stuff. I'm just getting ready. I literally room service an iced Americano to the room because I was like, I cannot get ready without caffeine in my system today. <laughs> 
you ever wondering what I'm listening to? It's Lana Del Rey, Arab music or Persian music or Afghan music. About to call my Uber. The worst blisters yesterday, like my feet are literally in shambles. I did these black earrings from Heaven Mayhem with the sweater that I got yesterday. I'm just doing jeans today because I'm keeping it casual. I'm just gonna do sambos. I feel like it's the easiest. And like I said, I have blisters. That isn't too far. I think it's like a 10 minute drive. Call car. Oh, it's from Longchamp. In case anyone's wondering. My feet literally hurt so bad I had to stuff toilet paper because I didn't have a band-aid in the back of my shoe. But I have my phone, everything else, gold ring. My managers actually got this for me for my birthday. It's from Missouri. So sweet of them. Let me show y'all the full outfit. Full look, pretty casual like I said. I'm gonna head out. I'll see y'all there. I'm on my way to the mirror event it's 11 32. originally yesterday we we're like let's get here at 11 and then i was like yvonne i'm running late let's do 11 15. she's like let's do 11 30 and now we're like 11 40 and she's like i'll be there at 11 50 but it's okay i feel like people usually come kind of late to these things especially because it's like 10 to 1 so i think we'll be fine very excited a funny story i actually met a photographer when i was sitting in a coffee shop yesterday waiting for Iman. she saw my um, g7x the camera that i use for vlogging and she was like oh like how are you liking your new camera like i see that one's like sold out like i feel like so many influencers have it and like i was like yeah i love it so much like it's the perfect camera for me i feel like it's really easy to use she was like you know i'm a professional photographer like i do portrait photography and yeah it's like such a good camera and i was like oh like are you here for fashioning she's like yeah i'm like doing all these shows like she was photographing the victoria's secret show and she was like you know i'm really trying to like work on my instagram and get it up and running because i had asked her to like see a couple photos of her work and she showed me and they were like amazing she used to do like weddings and all that and she was so sweet she was like let me give you like recommendations for photographers in turkey like i have some friends who are in europe and like maybe they can come to istanbul like give me your number i'll text you all these things and if you want like we can just like take photos like i leave on saturday like if you want to just like take some quick photos like in new york walking around like let's do it and i was like yeah i'm super down so i got her number and that was supposed to be today so i think i'm gonna text her and be like you still want to do it because she was literally so sweet she was from venezuela um i think she was from miami but she was like with a group of like spanish-speaking women and she was just so sweet i was like wow that's such a like sweet new york experience so it'll be really fun if that works out today um but other than that we have kind of like a chill schedule so i'm very excited it's been so fun like meeting different people in new york i feel like that's the best part about fashion week is like everyone is here so i feel like you make so many new friends or you meet like internet people in real life and it's just so much fun breakfast food and we went to this place called banter super cute and now we're just looking for like a quiet place to sit and get some work done yeah iman has to be on a call i have some emails i need to catch up on and we're in the meat packing district which we feel like for this time we've been, been, been here like every day like multiple times in the day all the events have been in this area so far which is so interesting because i thought they wouldn't be here started to get the worst cramps ever and it was literally killing me the entire time that we we're all pollen i whatever was so sweet like pulled over and got us advil and stuff but it was not enough i usually have like three advils when i'm on my period this one really hit me like a truck so honestly i feel exhausted and i need to like go home and drink water and like rest and we have like a couple hours break in between 
now and dinner. We're gonna go get dinner with like a bunch of other girls and we're really excited. We're going to this place called Saint Tropez. I'm gonna change my outfit and I just wanna like sit and like take a nap. Honestly, I'm so tired. It's raining outside anyways, so the perfect timing. All right, you guys, I'm getting ready for dinner. Put on my dress. This dress is from The Real Real. I don't really know what to do for my hair, so I just like put it up. I feel like I need to wash it, but I didn't want to do like a bun or anything. I think these earrings work. I think that's cute. Popped on some individual lashes on my outer corner, and now I'm going to just like use a little bit of mascara to blend that, if I can even find my stuff i'm at that point in the trip where like you're losing everything let me use this lancome monsieur big mascara i literally love this one there are the lashes okay the outfit of the night this is the leopard dress from the real real i love it it has like super cute pleating all the way down i just did my gold watch the chanel bag the same heaven mayhem earrings that I had off earlier and I'm all ready for dinner. Bye. You guys wanna laugh? I went to the wrong location. I have to call another Uber after I literally just got out. That's so much fun. So we just had dinner. What was it called? Oh I don't know. Saint, Saint Tropez. Tropez. <laughs> How did I why did I say I don't know? And then um, it was so good. We had um, some other lovely ladies the there. The food was 10 out of 10, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I ordered three dinner plates. Literally three dinners. I had gnocchi, and it then I had a shrimp salad. the opposite of girl and dinner. And then fries. Yeah, but I was girl dinnering all the trips, so it's like, true. I finally got my appetite back. Yeah, so and I was like making up for like, the three days of not really eating like a good dinner. We were all talking and Yaz was like silent for like a good 20 minutes. <laughs> Dude, I went mute. I was I like, mute. I'm not talking. Like, yeah. I need to focus on my meal. Not part of the no, conversation but you <laughs> at all. I look over and she's like, <gasps> <laughs> I was hungry. I know. I was just, you know, I was refueling. I noticed. That was me resetting. I know. I don't. I actually don't talk when I eat. I know. That's why I eat fast. And then people who are like so busy talking, you they're like, you're such a like. Slow eater. Eat I'm like, well, I just have a fo I'm focused. Like, if you just focus, you put your head down and eat your dinner, which is why we're here. You would be in my position too. <laughs> Anyways, it was anyway, girls dinner. Girl dinner. <laughs> the opposite of yeah, it wasn't girl dinner <laughs> at all. Where are we going? I don't know. I was just following. Oh, you. Okay. Okay. It's Saturday, like afternoon. Honestly, I woke up at like. 11 we don't have a lot to do today besides um like some stuff at night so i'm having like a pretty slow like morning afternoon i'm about to get ready i washed my hair last night because i really needed to and then i just like styled it through some curls in and i'm about to do my makeup and for today is for me to do like kind of like a solo shopping moment i want to walk around soho and stop into some of my favorite stores and just like peek around i feel like the shopping in new york is really really good and i just want to like have a me day and then um i might meet up with one of my friends for like lunch early dinner and then probably meet up again with Iman before we head to the Rebecca Minkoff after party tonight. So excited, Leon Bridges is performing. And a little backstory on Leon Bridges, he's like one of my all time favorite artists. Like I feel like I don't really listen to a lot of American music anymore. I listen to like Arab or Persian or Afghan music. I have like a few like American artists that I love, like Lana Del Rey is like my main one. I still love like Leon Bridges. Last summer, uh, Mustafa surprised me with two tickets to his show in DC when I was living there for a little bit um, after I graduated college working a corporate job and it was just so much fun. We had just gotten married. It was like a couple weeks after we had our nikah and he got me those tickets. He'd literally never even listened to one of his songs. Like he had no idea who it was, but he knew he was like one of my favorite artists. So we booked his tickets and that's still like one of my favorite nights and it was so good. Like he's such a good performer live. It's like so full circle that now I'm literally going to like a private party and he's performing. Okay, I'm almost done with my makeup. This Dibs Beauty um, status stick in the shade High Road is literally life-changing for like a glow after you finish the rest of your makeup sometimes i feel like after i do like powder and stuff i get a little bit too matte that like dewy wet skin kind of look um but i don't want to have like 
chunky highlighter pieces especially during the daytime i love using that stick it gives like the perfect glow and all you need is like a tiny bit on the back of a brush and you're set so this hourglass brush has been a game changer on this trip like i haven't touched any of my other foundation brushes and it's expensive and i was very hesitant for a very long time like i'm not spending that much money on one brush but it's so worth it i feel like it makes the product blend in so seamlessly and i am obsessed with it like i wish i just bought this one brush instead of like 20 other foundation brushes sometimes i get requests to share more like drugstore beauty favorites and right now i have these two favorites this is the physicians formula bronzer i don't really know the shade but you can screenshot it right here um it's amazing i feel like it's the best bronzer i've ever used and it was literally like maybe 10 bucks at like cvs so you really don't need like super expensive um complexion products for like powders and stuff i think the drugstore is great options and this has been my go-to blush on this trip the milani baked blush in dolce pink i talked about this in my last video obsessed i just put it on it's literally perfect and then my go-to mascara i get a lot of mascara questions is the l'oreal telescopic like i've literally been using this one from high school and it's also from the drugstore it's like literally the best so those are my drugstore beauty favorites. I'm gonna do my lipstick and then we're gonna go to Soho and walk around. My brother is actually gonna be in town tomorrow, which is so funny. I feel like that never happens. Like our trips never line up like that, but he's gonna be here tomorrow morning. So we're gonna grab breakfast and I wanna go to the Millennial Decorator pop up and then I have a wedding dress shopping appointment at Bridal Reflections. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna do my lip combo. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Liner in medium lip cheat and then the Refi Liner in Rosewood, and then the Dior Lip Oil. Okay, outfit of the day. I'm about to head out for some shopping. I am pretty casual. I'm wearing the same sweater set from Dorothy Sheen Walker. This has been like a random staple for me this trip. Black like silk skirt from Dish. I love it. It's like such a staple in my closet. The same Adidas bag is Chanel, watch Ferragamo, and then this bangle is from Revolve. It's supposed to rain in like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna try and walk over to Doan, which is gonna be my first store as fast as possible so I don't get stuck in the rain because that would really suck. Let's go. It is currently 7.06. I have to meet my friend Amy, who some of you guys might know. We're getting dinner at 7.30 and I need to quickly change into my outfit for Rebecca Minkoff tonight. Thankfully, it's gonna be quick. I just have to change the fit and then maybe touch up and make up a little bit, but like hair is done and all of that. I got a dress today at Doan and I'm obsessed. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Um, my brother and I are gonna get breakfast in the morning and then we have like some other stuff planned, but I'm so happy about it. I will show you guys when I get to the hotel. Just got coffee with one of my good friends um, from home who now lives in New York. We went to this place called Do Not Eat Your Alligator or like something like that. I don't really remember. Honestly, the coffee wasn't that good, so I wouldn't recommend, but it was fun. We just like caught up for a little bit and it was really good to see her. I'm so excited for tonight. It's gonna be so much fun in the city. There's like so much freaking traffic because of the US Open and Fashion Week and just like there's so much happening, but it's gonna be a really fun night. Have the night heading out. I am rushing. Here's the skirt I'm wearing. I'm wearing a blazer from the Frankie shop. This is from the M Jewelers. My skirt is Revolve, same black heels, and I think I'm gonna change my earrings. Iman's gonna bring me some silver ones, so I only have gold. I'm on my way to dinner. I feel like I didn't get to do a good outfit of the night, but I'm very excited. I just threw on some lashes really quick, like just some individual lashes. I'm wearing a full sequin skirt. It was like so hard to get in the car because I feel like I can't move in it. But we're gonna go meet Amy. We're going to this place called Emily in the West Village and I'm excited to see her and meet her for the first time and get some good food. I feel like I haven't even had like a real meal today. It's just been like coffee, which is horrible. I'm with my cute date, Amy. She's the cutest person. Thank you for her attribute. I'm getting a burger. What did you get? A salad and a cauliflower moment. We're in New York. We're in New York. This is Amy's first time in New York. <laughs> yeah. And this is my girl, the 
look at her. It's so cute. This is my date. <laughs> We're having so much fun. We're at Emily and West Village. So we'll let you know if it's good. Yeah. We Currently, we have nothing. Currently, we have a delicious yeah. plate. Yeah, we have food. nothing. It's, it's great. <laughs> so cute. Put up the night dog. Look who I'm with. She looks fabulous. So cute. So I'm exhausted. I ordered coffee to the room, just an iced Americano, and I literally ordered pancakes as I was getting ready. And I was like, that sounds so good. And then I had to film a campaign because it's due tomorrow. But we made it. I survived, and it's now 12:48. I was honestly supposed to meet my brother at this time, even though I wanted to go to the Millennial Decorator pop up. So I'm gonna eat my pancakes and then see where he's at and what the situation is. My wedding dress shopping appointment is at 3 p.m. at Bridal Reflections on Park Avenue, I think, or Fifth Avenue, one of those. Um, so it's a little bit more in like the Midtown area, but anyways, I am exhausted. New York Fashion Week was so much fun, and I feel like I made so many like fun memories with my friends, and it was honestly just such a good time. Like, wow, I am tired. I'm so exhausted. I cannot wait to just like not get ready for like five days. Like I'm just so tired from the like non-stop events and stuff. And also, I feel like I have this eczema under my eyes, and I've been wearing makeup so often on this trip that like it's so irritated. But anyways, my pancakes. I'll talk to you guys later. So I meet my brother at a Lear Point. I am heading to Mr. Purple, which is where the millennial decorator is having her pop up. I like, cannot wait to see it. I feel like she has like the cutest stuff. So we're gonna go there and then my appointment's at three and then just take a car. It's honestly raining in New York. I'm having like a nice vibe. I feel like, I don't know, it's just cozy and it feels more like fall. Um, and since I'm leaving today, it feels like I'm ready to leave. You know what I mean? And I was gonna wear the dress that I got yesterday at Doan today, but it's like too freaking cute of a dress to like waste it on like a rainy day. And I didn't want to like ruin it. So I was like, you know what? I love that dress. I'll save it for another moment. I got this bag the other day at the Pollen store. It's like so full because it has all my stuff for the airport in it. But it is so beautiful. We got like a private shopping appointment at Pollen and she just like told me about like how the brand came to be and like more details about their bags and stuff. And I got to pick one. I picked this like big leather tote. It's really cool because their bags are made in like the same factories as a lot of the other really big designers like Bottega Veneta she said like Chanel was there as well but their price point is just like much lower so they have a lower profit margin but it's like the quality is still so amazing and like literally the same as all these like super expensive designer brands and it's just really awesome that they like offering it at a more affordable price point and it's like more accessible i'm gonna link it for you guys it's also really cool because it's like magnetic on these sides i think it's just a little too full for me to do it but it can like cinch in there or it can be more of like a angular shape if that's what you want
in there, but they were extremely expensive and like very much so out of my budget, which like just honestly sucks because I feel like just honestly a little bit stressed about all of that stuff. Like she was telling me that my cutoff for finding a dress should be the first week of October and there's just so much going on between now and that time and like I don't know, I guess it takes like up to nine months to like make a wedding dress and then you have to like give enough time for fittings and alterations and customizations and all of that. So it's like honestly just really stressing me out and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like on my way to the airport I'm just like thinking about like the dress and then like work and then I fly back again in like three days again to New York for the brand trip and just like other stuff that I have going on and like Honestly, I'm really stressed out about it all and I'm just sharing this in case any other brides have been in this position before like please leave advice in the comments like I'm genuinely at a loss like I just don't know what to do anymore I really haven't been having much luck with dresses like I know exactly what I want but the style that I want is just like the only designs I can find are just so out of my budget I'm just feeling very overwhelmed. I have a six and a half hour flight home, but I'm like, should I stay up and like work and like get that stuff done so I don't have to like worry about it tomorrow or should I just like fall asleep? I don't know. I bought a cappuccino at the hotel before I checked out and I didn't end up seeing my brother, but it's okay, I'll see him when I'm home. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had such a fun trip to New York. I have to love. It was my first fashion week. It was so exciting. I had literally the best time with Yvonne and went to so many fun events. I literally had the best time and definitely excited to like sleep in my own bed tonight and see my husband and like see my parents and like have a home cooked meal and then just get excited again for next weekend, Veil Fest. I will be there um, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then I think Sunday as well. So I would love to see your beautiful faces if you guys are in the New York City area. It's gonna be super fun. There's like a lot of different booths and like so many amazing girls. So we fly out on Thursday and then we fly back home on Sunday. And I think I'm gonna try and look at more dresses if I have a free time this weekend in New York. But wish me luck. I need all I can get. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and for supporting me. I would not be here without all of your constant support and I am just like so grateful for what I do every day and for this community. I just like love our little community so much and every time I've met any of you in real life you've all been so sweet and like genuine and kind and it really does make my entire day entire week and I never forget any of those encounters. I always like remember it and cherish it so I'd love to see you all next weekend at the